Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk, back in another video today, and today we're going to talk about how Jalen Green has been unstoppable lately for the Houston Rockets, as the Houston Rockets are on a nine-game winning streak, but over the last six games, and, and really, you know, it's the last six games where he's been playing out, you know, outrageous basketball, but, you know, really since I think the Phoenix Suns win, or a couple, of, it was like a pair of games against the it was two games against the Phoenix Suns. One we lost one, we we won the other. That's what has you know, that was twelve games ago. Cause the win against Phoenix is what started all this all this for the Rockets. After the win against Phoenix, the Rockets have won eleven out of their last twelve games. I think Jalen scored like 34, 37 in that game. And that's where Jalen started to play this this well. Uh, now there were in between, you know, I think Phoenix, in the Phoenix games he went over thirty both games in Phoenix, and then like there were a couple games in between that where he didn't do so good. I remember the San Antonio game, uh, Shingun went for like forty uh, something and whatever it was forty six something like that, and Jalen didn't have a great game. There were a couple games in the mix before Jalen started playing the way he is now, where he didn't play that great. But over the last twelve games, he's had. He, he had a couple good games and then kind of went down to earth for a minute. And then over the last six games, since Shen Goon got hurt, which I think um, it's been like seven or eight games since Shen Goon got hurt. But over the last six games, Jalen Green has played different basketball. He's averaging 33.1 points per game in his last six games with two 40-plus performances, 41 against uh, – it was – it was 41 against Utah, right? And then 42 against Washington. Or was it 42 against Washington and 41 against Utah? I think I have it confused. It's, it, was, it was 41 against Washington and I think it was 42 against Utah, if I'm not mistaken. He had 37 against Washington because there were two games against Washington. He had 27 against Portland last game. He had 26 against Cleveland. He also had 26 against another team as well. Um... Who was that against? Uh, wasn't the Spurs? There, there was somebody else that we played that he had twenty six against. But he's averaging thirty three point one points per game in the last in the last six games. And he's the, the other thing about it is it's not just averaging thirty three point one points per game. He's doing it on efficient basketball. We we've seen Jalen have a big problem staying efficient. Like he'll have a game where he goes twenty plus points, something like that. Maybe even gets near thirty. But he has a terrible shooting night. Now, yes, or the game the day before yesterday, Monday, was the first time we've seen from Jalen over this stretch of basketball games where he has a good performance in an inefficient game. He scored 27 points but shot 9 for 25. That's the first time we've seen Jalen do that where he you know gets a high number in scoring but has a terrible shooting night. All the games before that, he was shooting really well from the floor for the Rockets. Now, he just in the last game, he just got up to a really terrible start in the first half, which to be fair, the whole Houston Rockets team did. It's not it, it's not like, oh, Jalen was the only guy that went out there and was straight garbage in the first half because everybody was. Dylan Brooks was, Fred Van Vliet was. To be honest, the only guy that wasn't was Jock Landa, who shot like 5 for 5 and 2 for 2 from 3 and scored 15 points in the first half, which I was 15 out of 47 points for the Houston Rockets. I don't know what the Rockets would have not done if they didn't have Jock Lando in the first half, because if they didn't have him in the first half, uh, I don't know if they'd be able, they, they, they might be down in that, you know, they were only down four in the first half without Jock. They might have been down more and had to, maybe had to potentially come back from more, you know, than down four in the second half. Um, but yeah, Jalen's been playing great basketball. He's been playing efficient basketball. He has been hard to guard as well. He is, we're seeing him do things we've never seen him do, or, we, you know, we've seen him do this stuff, but we're seeing him, we're seeing him do things, you know, we're doing, we're seeing him do these things, these unstoppable things consistently, which we've never seen him do these things consistently. And we're also seeing him play this way and do these things in a winning basketball way. We've never seen him play this type of basketball and it be winning basketball. I know, you know before this winning streak, before the Rockets have won 11 out of their last 12 games. Um, so obviously, there, you know, this, the Rockets still have 36 wins. So there were 25 other wins before these 11. But, you know, there are only a couple wins where Jalen put, you know, some impact into those wins. You saw a lot of struggling from Jalen on some of the Rockets' early wins. But Jalen, 
are the you know Jalen is the reasons for a or is the reason for a lot of these wins and the last eleven out of twelve wins for the Houston Rockets. I would say at least half, if not more than half, of these wins, maybe seven or eight of these wins, are because of Jalen. Let me know your thoughts on the way Jalen Green is playing basketball for the Houston Rockets and the way the Houston Rockets are playing basketball in general. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out. Go Rockets.